Welcome to Apple Country. Surrounded by lush pastures and some of the most productive soils in Australia, the southern forests and valleys is the food bowl of WA and is a must do on anyone's culinary bucket list. Manjimup produces 50% of WA's apple production and is home to two of the state's largest apple orchards. So I thought I'd head over to Newton Orchards to have a chat with Nicole Giblet to find out what makes this region so good for apples. So we pick in autumn, generally, like February to May, um, and then we'll be packing 12 months of the year from either fresh off the tree or from in store. Yeah, about we do about 6 million kilos a year through this shed. Now, what makes this region so good for growing apples? So we've got a really soft Mediterranean climate, generally just really clean and pristine. We've got less pest and disease incidents than um, any other growing region in the world. Now, the very first dollar that I ever made was in a packing shed just like this one, and I was very young, but I remember that it was not so dissimilar than it is today. Can we go and have a look at the orchard now? I'd love to take you to the orchard. Beautiful, you yeah. lead the way. Okay, let's go. Newton Orchards is a family-owned and run orchard that had been growing apples in Manjimup for nearly a hundred years. And they are one of the most trusted fruit growers in WA. Nick, the Southern Forest and Valleys region is so amazing. I mean, look at all this fantastic produce. And this is all from this region, right? Absolutely, just about. There's a couple of little additions that you need to complete your cheese platter, but they're all certainly all West Australian. But yeah, all the core produce is from Manjimup and Pemberton and surrounding areas. Something that's really caught my eye over here is these juices. There's a lot of different styles there. Are they all local as well? This is our own Cloudy South, um, and then these guys are neighbours of ours, also growers, New Leaf, who do a beautiful sparkling apple juice of the different varieties. But what they've got in common is trying to educate consumers that you can buy really well and ethically locally. If you're juicing anything more generic, um, it's more often than not made from imported concentrate. Mm comes here in giant barrels and then is um, confusingly labelled because it's mixed with Australian water. Yep. Um, and you don't know anything about the growing practices there or the, or the you know, integrity and quality of the fruit. So whereas if you drink one of these, you can taste the region. All of this is making me very hungry. I'm going to get stuck into one of these Bravos. Just one. <laughs> <laughs> mm. That's straight off the tree. Fresh as it gets. Mm. 